Hello there, folks. This is not a Scores on the Doors episode for obvious reasons, although there is one or to still go. Uh, the Mickeys that I've not seen yet uh, in a late race at Dundalk, I think. No, this isn't a Scores on the Doors, but it is concerning online tipsters, the YouTube tipsters, and it's two I'd like to focus on in the main. One that we've been doing a lot about over the last sort of month and a half, that's all Peter Fillingham. And one that we've left alone since he started to do a profit and loss. That's old Neil, Neil Maurice there. We did say we'd leave him alone. And I am doing, I'm true to my word. What I will say is he is doing a profit and loss. Some of the pricings he's given out there are a little questionable. You've got to say that. And I'm a bit disappointed he's, he's mentioning um, the odds of various doubles and trebles with the maybe one free horse and the two horses that he's given to his private clients. Because... As he's saying on the videos, he's not mentioning to anybody to do doubles and trebles and accumulators or patents. He's not saying that at all. He's not putting any losses to doubles, trebles and patents in his profit and loss on a daily basis. But he started to mention them again. Whenever he gets two or three winners, he mentions them. When the horses go down, he doesn't tend to. You know, if you're not putting them in your profit and loss and if you're not advising people to do, to do doubles and trebles, I don't think you should be mentioning them, Neil. But there's just something I'd like to say, and it's, it's a, regarding those two online tipsters, and it's on the back of something that Neil said only the other day. I think he said the other day, it's the only show in town. He mentioned this because he's having a reasonable run himself, and it, obviously he's promoting his Gate Pass! This month's Gate Pass, which has got a full month, as well as all his Chesterville. Chesterville? I joined them one. That's Cheltenham and Festival. I've, I've, I've now... Uh, coined it Chestival. I don't know where I've got that from. In fact, I'm never going to use that again. That was a mistake. It's Cheltenham, Festival, Best Bets and Outsiders. And his thoughts behind them all. Yes, you can get all that. 60 quid worth of uh, betting, that is, for only 35 quid. You might have lost six or seven days, but he's done the maths today. You've still got, oh, a good few to go. 35 quid, it's there for anybody. He did say he's the only show in town. So on the back of that, I thought, well, I know he's not, because I know our Peter's doing really well, but I thought, let's see how they're performing together. Keith mentioned the other day, I think one of Peter's videos is now at the thousand mark. He, he was nowhere near that a few months ago. He's doing fantastically well. He's helping himself because of the amount of winning days he's getting there. And he's realised on the thumbnail, he should start promoting this. And he started to do that. But I like Peter. He's still honest as, as the day's long. But I just noticed a couple of things. Right. Uh, Neil. Neil Maurice there. Neil has got 1,960 subscribers. 1,960. Came online in October 21. He's done it for many years before that. He may be on, online in other guises, but under this profile, October 21. And as of early on this afternoon, when I seen his daily video, today's video, he'd had 570 watches. 570, 1960 subscribers, October 21. Okay, bear that October, man. That's important-ish. Peter, Peter Fillingham, only 596 subscribers. Not... A bit more than than quarter of what uh, what Neil has got, yeah, Neil has got, but not much more than quarter. So it's almost a quarter of what Neil has got. He came on board in October twenty three. Only about five months ago now, six months ago. My maths is crap. Five six months ago. Yes, those today's video. Yesterday's video it's over a thou. Today's video we learned this afternoon is it's a thou. It's probably only eleven or twelve hundred now, and that's on the back of a losing day today. The first for fourteen days for Peter. Um, so I'm looking at things and I'm thinking, well, you've got quite the subscribers of Neil. You've got almost double the views of Neil. Uh, you started two years after Neil. And I think that shows Neil that uh, Neil isn't the only uh, only horse in town, the only dog in town, the only person in town, the only whatever it was in town, the only show in town. That's what he said, the only show in town. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, he's got something, maybe something to do with the shortness of Peter's videos that are a minute, minute and a half as opposed to three, four or five minutes. And probably more so the fact that he's not pushing anything. I've seen about 40 videos now since Christmas of Peter's. 30, 30 to 40. And he's not once yet mentioned money. He's not once yet tried to pull uh, people on board to take money off. And he's not once yet mentioned any kind of exotic bets or funny name bets. Like your bullseye bet, your emer emerald bet or your gate pass bet. He's not mentioned any of that. He doesn't start his messages well. Um, right, a winning day yesterday. I've got a free bet for you today. But first, before I do that, let me tell you all this first. And I implore you to jump on board now. doesn't do any of that. He says, yeah, we won yesterday. Yeah, we lost yesterday. Very sorry yesterday. But today we've got two tips. Or one tip, but whatever. Done, dusted, gone. 
And I think that's helping Peter, I really do. But anyway, Peter, if you're watching this, well done, my son, you're doing really, really well. Really, really well. And I'm pleased for you. You're doing it the right way as far as I can see. Well done.